Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to use nodal analysis to determine the current I, determine the amount of power supplied by the 6 volt voltage source, and determine if the 4 amps current flowing in the right side of the circuit influence the circuit in any way. As always, we choose our terminal and apply KCL. In this case, we note that the voltage across resistors in parallel is going to equal because they share the same voltage. Thus we can choose in this terminal to apply our first node voltage equation. So let's do that. And in this case, let me just put it there. VA is equal to VB. So let's note that VA is equal to VA minus 6 volt all over 2 ohms plus VA all over 8. And as always, let's put our ground, which is 0 volts. So you could say 0 volts, but I'm not going to include that. Plus VA all over 8. And there's a current leaving VA. So that's going to be a positive current. So that's positive 3, 0. Simplifying the expression. And then we have negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3 plus 3, and that is equal to 0. Thus, we see that the voltage VA equal VB is going to equal to zero. Thus the current IX, this current right there, IX is going to equal to zero as well. So I is equal to zero. Zero amperes. Now let's determine the power supplied by the voltage source. To find the power, we use P equal to V times I. And supplying means the, cur the power is going to be negative. Also, we can look at, look at the circuit in this way to see that the current, or the, well, not to see that the current is going to be negative, but we can look at the circuit this way to get a better understanding. As when we look at the left side of the circuit, the left side of the three amps, if there's zero volts at terminal VA and terminal VB, there will be no current flowing through both of those A ohms resistors. Thus, we can say that three amps flowing in the, the, the opposite direction will be negative, and thus we know the current through or the current supplied by the voltage source. Thus, PVS is going to equal 6 times 3, and that's a negative 3, and that's going to be negative 18 watts. So that is the power delivered or supplied by the voltage source. Now to determine if the 4 amps current influence the circuit in any way, we can break it down and analyze the circuit. So let's do it like this. So let's clear all that we have. We know that at this terminal V, there's going to be zero volts. We don't know, let's call it ter VA, terminal VA, terminal VB. We don't know the voltage at those terminals. We would like to find out, because we want to find out if the 4 amps influence the circuit, we want to know what's the current leaving from VB in order to assess the problem. So let's call this I1. Let's call this I2. Now let's find the voltage so we can find the currents flowing through the 8 ohms resistor to the right of the 3 amp current source. We know that VA is going to equal VB. 
resistors in parallel shame the same voltage. Now let's apply, and we know that, also we know that V is equal to zero. So now let's apply KCL at VA. So node VA equal node VA. There is a three amps current source. So there's a three amp entering node VA. So that's a negative three plus and as always, we have our ground. So plus a VA minus zero volt, which is minus ground, because we take in the voltage across the resistor with reference to ground. So VA over eight plus VA over eight. And we see that there is a four amps current entering VB. Thus, that's going to be a minus four. It's going to equal zero, simplifying, factor out VA, and this will be one fourth plus, or should I say negative seven, negative three minus four is set negative seven, and VA is going to equal 28 volts. So thus we know VA and VB is going to equal the same, so that's 28 volts. So we know the voltages. Let's now figure out the current I2, because that's the current we want to know. We need to figure out I2 in order to find how I f the, the four amps influence the circuit. So I1 is going to equal the three amps current source minus the current flowing through the first eight ohms resistor to the right of the, the current source. So let's just put that there. So this is I, let's call this IA, and let's call this IB. So minus IA, so IA is 28 volts divided by A ohms, and I1 is going to equal negative 1 half, or negative 0 0.5 amps. I2 is going to equal I2 is going to equal I1 minus IB. And the same thing, 28 over 8, and that's going to equal negative 4, negative 4 amps. Now we see that I2 is equal to negative 4 amps, thus the current I4 that is flowing into terminal VB is the same as I2, thus so we can say I2 is the current flowing in the opposite direction, thus the four amps does not influence the circuit in any way. So see you in the next problem, bye.